Hi there, you probably got an error from Google Play saying that you need to use target API level 29 to upload your game to Google Play. And if you didn't get that far, that is the new requirement for Google Play. So if you're trying to publish the game, you'll need to use level 29. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install level 29 API. So when you install Unity, you have modules that you can select. And if you want to publish to the Android store, you need to make sure that these options are turned on as well. And at the current moment, when those options get installed, the API level that gets installed is level 28. And we need level 29 to publish. So Unity is probably going to change that real soon. But for now, here is what you do to change the level to 29. In my game, I can go to build settings, make sure you're switched to Android platform, then click player settings. And under player settings, you can go to Android's other settings right here. And when you scroll down under identification, there is a target API level. And currently it's automatic, highest installed. If you click on the drop down, you can see that the API level 29 appears here. We can select that and click build. You can specify the location where you want to build it. I'm building an APK for testing. So click save and the build process is going to start. As soon as the build process starts, it gives me an error saying that the required API level is not installed. So you can click update Android SDK. But as soon as you click that, you get another error saying that the build failed because SDK was not installed. And it tells you to install the SDK manually. It might actually work on your computer, but on my computer, it's not working. And I think it has to do to the fact that the installer is not running as the administrator. In that case, it gets blocked from installing successfully. So we will have to install manually on my device. So to get more information how to do that, you can go to the console and see the errors that we got. So the very first error that we have is this file warning that it couldn't be found. Repositories.cfg could not be loaded under the user Android folder. And if you want to, you can go add an empty file and name it repositories.cfg and that will get rid of that warning. But if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. It will still work without it. It will be just getting this warning message. The reason why it failed is because of this one failed to read and create install properties files. And that's why I said that it's probably due to the fact that the administrator privileges are, are not provided when the installation of the SDK is running. So that's why we're going to have to do it manually. And at the very bottom, we can see this instructions for installing that we should use. So right here is the location of the SDK manager and the platform that we're installing is the Android 29. I'm just going to add that repository files. So I'm not going to get the warning anymore. So create new, then text document and we'll name it that click yes and we're done. Now let's run this installation manually. So I'm not sure what system setup you have. Do you have Java installed or not? And you have Java home configured. But whenever you install OpenJDK with Unity, the Java gets installed with it. And that's what I'm going to use for Java. And we can find the Java installation is by selecting this first portion all the way up to Android player. So we can go to the Explorer, paste that in, click enter, and that should go to this folder. In this folder, there is the open JDK right here. We go to inside there, inside the bin. And here we have all the Java executable files. So we found that the reason why I just found it in the Explorer instead of the command line, it's just faster for me to do that. Now you need to find the command prompt and run it as an administrator. This is important. You have to run it as an administrator. Otherwise, it's not going to give the permission to write the new API level. So run as administrator, you'll get in confirmation confirming that you want to run it as administrator. And this is the command prompt Then I want to change the directory to the directory that I have here. So I can go inside the Explorer, copy that location, and then do CD command change directory, double quotes, because there's some spaces in the file path and close the quote, click enter, and that should change the location to where our Java is installed. And this part you have to do so that the Java EXE can be found. 
If you have Java Home configured, you don't have to do this part, but if you're using Java only with Unity, you probably won't have Java Home configured. So now we are ready to run the command that Unity has right here. We'll also need to start with a double quote, followed by the instruction, and at the end of the SDK manager.bat, we also need to add a quote. Click enter, and that should start running the installation. So here we get the license agreement and we need to accept it. So click yes for accept, enter, and that should continue downloading the platform. There you go, now it's all complete. We got it installed. We can go back to Unity and try building it now. Go to build settings, click build, save, and the build starts running. So I guess the SDK was successfully found. So this is the process that I found that requires least amount of steps and that can be easily used with not installing the Android Studio or go through all the Java configurations. I ran into this problem myself, so I decided to make a quick video about it to save you guys some time from debugging it yourself. If you like this video, click on the thumbs up button. And if you enjoy this video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you later.